How are we getting on? I just thought I'd show you a bit of a tour of how far we've got with this van, so up to now. All right, I'll spin you around. So there's our kitchen unit. It's just a flat pack sideboard, it was called. Um, 100 quid. It's a solid pine. It's not um, like furniture board, it is pine. And then we've just... Uh, well, we haven't actually stained it yet. We've, we're sort of contemplating on whether to stain it, same as the uh, cladding. But I quite like this, the standard, like the colour it comes in, to be fair. So then we might just leave that as it is, because it looks quite rustic as it is. And then I've just drilled a hole for this, the sink to go in, the round sink. And then I might just use the piece, the cutout piece, and just sand it down a bit so it fits in the fits in the where the sink goes, just so you've got more working space. Because there is a little bit of a, as you can see, there's a bit of a lip on that sink. So it might just, if we take maybe five mil off the edge of this, it might just slot in quite nicely. So unfortunately, the kit I got is only a 50 quid kit that comes with the containers and the pump. Like a submersible pump and then it actually comes with a tap as well. Well, the tap was knackered, the, the switch inside it doesn't work. Try pulling it apart to see whether I, I could see what the hell was going on inside that tap but it looks like the contacts are just it looks like there's one contact missing inside the tap so they've sold us a, a duff tap i spoke to the seller on ebay and he, he said oh no you have to return the whole kit and then we'll send you another kit well i thought well i've already got the rest of it in so i thought what's the point of sending back the whole kit when the rest of it's fine apart from the tap and he wouldn't just send out a tap so i don't really understand that so i've decided to just put a switch on just glued a switch on the side of the which I'm going to put some conduit around them two wires that disappear into the big conduit. But at least it's just a toggle switch. That you flick and then the, the tap works. Just so I can show you. So, to me that's just as easy as turning on the, maybe even easier, than turning on the actual tap itself so I think I'll just leave it like that for now and then double burner just got from Amazon about 75 quid I think it was so not super cheap but at the same time it's fully stainless and it's got like a cast iron a proper cast um, pot holder as well so it's a quality thing it's designed for you know it's designed for in, in a house but it's already converted to LPG you can convert it back to natural gas with these little nozzles they send you, but I think the nozzles go down in there. In there, you see that little gold nozzle there. I think it's, all, I think it's already been converted to LPG if it doesn't burn very well, and I'll just put the other nozzles in and hopefully that'll be good enough. And then the little Bear Mac fridge, 42 litre. I've just put there for now. I'm going to build some sort of box around it, but to be fair, for now, to get us going, perfectly fine perfectly fine as it is I think just for now and then probably seen from all the photos I keep putting on the group the bed frame we just finished it off with some MDF painted it white just so it's got a bit of a frame to it and then made slats out of 1x2s or 2x1s whatever you want to say so it can breathe a bit just so it doesn't go mouldy underneath like i've seen some where they just put like a solid plywood piece on the bottom on the top of the base and it just the mattress can't breathe and then they can actually get black mold under them we don't want that do we got enough of that in the house and then uh charlie put some uh it's like a, f a synthetic suede material and I didn't want to get just normal auto carpet because I just hate the feel of it. It just feels horrible to me. So I was just looking around on eBay and that and then found this suede stuff. Well, a lot cheaper than normal suede, obviously. But uh, not super cheap, but then at the end of the day, for the feel of it and at the head of the bed and the you know, where your feet are as well, it's worth putting on, isn't it? You know, it's rather than just having that foil stuff. So that's on top of the foil insulation bubble wrap stuff. And then uh, this, the foil uh, 
insulation is behind the plywood door covers. We still haven't decided what we're going to do with the, show, the, the metal that you can still see. Um, maybe wrap that in some sort of carpet. But then we'd have to get the stretchy stuff and then it would have to be that normal auto carpet. But then you're not really going to be touching that sort of stuff like where your head would be. Um, so that can just have normal auto carpet on it. That'll be all right. And then these lights, just uh, just battery power for now. Triple A's. It's weird because when it was freezing the other, uh, the other day when it was just a frost, they didn't really want to come on. Well, they didn't want to stay on very long until they went dim. But now it's, well, I've had the heater going in there. It's, uh, they're staying on a little bit brighter. So that's a, obviously, just goes to show how much better batteries function when it's a little bit warmer. Curtain out of the Land Rover, not going to be permanent. That's just, I, th I thought I'd just try it on there to see how it looked, and <laughs> it's not long enough. It, it barely even goes to the same height as the uh, heads on the seats, uh, heck, uh, headrests. <laughs> Uh, not ideal so that's I'll put something else on there like an actual thermal curtain or something what else we got so I've just put in this gas locker which was uh, I managed to get it from work it's like a, a locker that you have on like in a van for racking so it is a, like a proper steel locker like sheet steel no, I can't really see it very well I don't want to turn on that one. Oh, there we go. So there, that's what it looks like. And I thought that would be absolutely perfect for our gas bottle. And I can just seal it all up inside with sealant. And it will be the same as a normal gas locker would be. And I've just, just literally just drilled through the floor, 50 mil hole. Because you've got to have a 50 mil hole apparently, minimum in the camper van. Drop out vent. And I'll just put one of them plastic vents, uh, like a cylinder slot vent through that when it comes. I've ordered that. And then I'll just seal up all these edges with uh, sealant, like I say, and then uh, it'll be a proper gas locker then. Screw to the floor is absolutely solid, not going anywhere. Put some washers on the screws just to put it down a bit better. And I changed the whole heater situation because I wasn't happy with the, well, to be fair, the way it was with the all-in-one case around it, it's not really very safe. Just had like a, you, you, the exhaust pipe, you could actually see the exhaust pipe coming out the bottom of the heater and then you'd have to obviously drill a bigger hole so it doesn't burn the insulation. So I decided that wasn't really a good idea and obviously recommended it wasn't a good idea because it's, you know, if you have a little bit of a leak where it joins onto the bottom of the heater, then obviously carbon monoxide is coming straight in, so not ideal. So I just I ditched this tank. This tank I got rid of because I was never happy with it. it. Only holds like five liters anyway. So I've got a ten liter skinny tank that screws to the wall, and then just for extra extra measure, just put one of them little ratchet straps around it just to hold it. And it's solid; it's not moving. And then finally got one of them mounting plates, proper mounting plates. That screws to the floor the heater heater bolts to the mounting plate and the mounting bolt mounting plate screws to the floor and then there's no way there's any exhaust fumes can come up into the fan then because it's flush with the floor but obviously i'm going to still put a carbon monoxide alarm just here i've already got that that's just gonna i'm just gonna mount it on the wall literally just in front of the heater uh so yeah that's what i've done with that the only annoying thing with these heaters is that ticking of the pump isn't it when especially when it's inside a vehicle it was terrible in the land rover because literally it was like right by your head so that was like tick 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 all night and you were lucky if you could get off to sleep so what i did in that in the end i put it underneath the land rover and it made a, quite a bit of a difference even even then you could still hear it ticking from underneath the actual land rover itself but then they're only made of tin and they have tin box but i've seen quite a lot where they mount the pumps under the van themselves so I think I will do that. I wanted to keep it inside just so I can keep it all together and if it you know if it plays up I can work on it inside the van, but then you know maybe it would be a lot quieter if it was outside. So I'll probably get some more of that fuel pipe and then extend it so it can have it actually outside the van hanging on cable ties underneath the van and then it might be a hell of a lot quieter. But yeah, no, that's uh 
working a treat. The controller's there, so you, if you wanted to see the screen, you're just leading down the back of the bed. You can see it, but the actual remote itself, you can get to any, get to any way. Got the remote hanging on the side there. That remote there is for the lights, and then that remote there is for the skylight. Oh, yeah, I wish I didn't mention the skylight, did I? Let's just turn it on. That works a treat, no problem at all. That went quite well. Knock it off. That's basically it so far. That's where we're at with this uh, sprinter. I was going to build a bit of a bench just so there's some seating where some people have their kitchen units in these vans. I'm going to have it so like part of the slide door is covered by a seating bench of some sort. So just build a frame and then I've got like an old foam mattress. Well, I say old, I've got the foam mattress that was in the Defender. I'll, you cut that to size and then just use that as the seat base and then just get some sort of material, wrap it round. So yeah, seating will be there eventually, but to be fair, we can... We can actually got it to a point now where we can use it, so that's one good thing. Just got I'm waiting for a gas bowl. There's a bit of a shortage of gas, so I'm just waiting for this uh, firm next door to where I work to get me in a gas bottle. I'm going for a six kilo bottle that fits in that fits exactly inside that unit. That's why I wanted it so much because literally the gas bottle is snug as a bug through the sort of the door of the uh, unit itself. So that was absolutely ideal, and it saves me having to build one out of wood and trying to make it look nice, whereas. That was laying in the workshop at work and they didn't need it and it was just accumulating dust so i said you know can i have that and they didn't mind me having it so yeah so that's where i'm up to at the minute yeah getting there sorry to waffle on but i thought i'd just show you where we're at all right